Alhamdulillah was salatu was salam ala Rasulullah Amma Ba'd There are 77,439 words in the Quran Thousands of words in the, in the Holy Bible And not one of those words are boyfriend or girlfriend those words just, just don't exist. The only word that exists, the only relationship that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala respects is marriage. Simple. <laughs> marriage itself is simple. However, man has come up with his own definition of marriage, his own take of marriage, where it doesn't require as much. As simple as marriage is, man has made it to the point where it's no effort at all. To the point where nowadays, boyfriend and girlfriend are just words to describe two people that are committing the act of zina. That's all. And it's 100% acceptable. Somebody can have a boyfriend or a girlfriend forever. And society will accept them. That's not, <laughs> that's not good. We can't take that upon ourselves as as our definition of it, just because it's simple, just because everybody else is doing it. A word that, that, that was created in the, in the 1920s, back when, when courting, you rarely hear that word. Going out and, and I guess nowadays you would call it dating. Back in the day it was called courting. But it was specifically for you to find somebody to get married to. So with that being said, it was a public affair. Your friends, your family, your neighbors, everybody was involved in it. But a different movement got pushed forward and that process became private. Nobody was involved in it anymore. To the point where they, they, they um, separated dating from any implications of marriage at all. Now you can date with, with, with uh, marriage nowhere in sight. Pushing marriage out the door to the point now where the, the age for marriage is, is higher than it ever was. Like 29 for men and, and 27 for women. When after a woman uh, comes to puberty and, and a man they can get married 15, 16 years old, and then they don't get married till they're 29. What, what's happening between that time? I'm sure it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing good. We have to get away from this, this stigma that, that comes with marriage, all of the attractive, uh, nice people in, in society that are on TV and movies and stuff like that. They're all quote unquote single to the point where they said the popularity of somebody in the public eye drops when they get married because their fans and the people who follow him want to envision themselves with this person. What about a lie? What about what Allah expects from us? And He expects us to do it the right way. It says in the Quran, Allah forbids us from taking secret lovers, for taking people to the side and, and, and having a secret relationship with them. That's not good. It's nothing scary about marriage. It's actually a lot of good things about marriage, benefits of marriage. 
to make marriage itself beautiful. Marriage completes us. To the point where the Prophet said that a person who gets married has completed half of their deen. Somebody fasting, somebody going through all of the, the things that they need to do. But if they're not married, they're not all the way complete. Because marriage helps us. We have a partner. Just imagine if you went into business and you had a partner. You specifically picked a partner. You wouldn't pick somebody that didn't know anything about the business. You would pick somebody that could help you make money, be successful in that business. That's what marriage means to us. We have a partner that can help us with our religion. If you slip in your, 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 your partner, hey man, we need, to, we, need to, we need to step some things up. And you can do the same for your wife. You can make each other better Muslims, inshallah. Somebody to go on this journey of life with you. The first man that was ever created, Adam alayhi salam. One of the blessings that Allah gave him was a righteous spouse. Marriage not only does that, but marriage also increases our sustenance. It was a man who came to the sheikh, and he says, I want to get married, but I really, I really don't have much. And the sheikh said, get married, because you have an allotted amount of sustenance that is given to you by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And she does too. And when you combine the two, y'all gonna be all right. And they were all right. So we can't even fear that. Like if we really are in the, in the point where we are scared that we are falling into sin, we, we need to get married. Not only that, marriage protects us. Horrible things. Zena. Marriage protects us against ourselves. Allah gave us, a, gave us the desire to eat. He didn't say, uh, you got the desire to eat, but food is forbidden. No, eat the food. Just eat halal food. We have urges as men. We have urges as women. And Allah wants us to satisfy those urges. Just do it in a halal way. Very simple. Marriage is simple. And the price of Zina is high. It's high. <laughs> Society wants to kind of calm it down to make it like, ah, oh, it's nothing. It's casual. One night stand. This, that, this. No. <laughs> Don't let society trick you into thinking like that. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said one of the signs of the ends of time is that Zina would just be all over the place. We can't fall into that. Prophet Yusuf Alayhi Salaam was beautiful, probably one of the most beautiful uh, people ever created. He was approached by another beautiful uh, a woman and she wanted him to commit Zina. And he says, I would rather go to prison than to do this with you. Who would do that nowadays? He knew that the price of Zena was high. Marriage protects us from the displeasure of our Lord. And the younger that we get married, the better because we have way more protection. This is nothing that we should fear, regardless of the stigma that's going on in society. Like marriage is some complicated thing. Marriage is simple, and it's beautiful, and it's prescribed to us by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it was one of his practices. He encouraged it. So we cannot 
go astray from the path and from the example of him. Allah says in the Quran, Grant us wives and offspring who will be the comfort of our eyes and make us examples of the righteous. I pray that Allah grants us all righteous wives and of that grants us righteous offspring. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar.